What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Greek here coming at you in the gameplay commentary of Black Ops. Um, so, in this game, it's a little free for all on Nuketown, obviously. But uh, I use a sniper rifle and I run around, I run my ass off and um, I win. That's that's the important thing. Don't forget about the score. Um, I mainly just needed this um, just so I could talk. Uh, now, I uh, hope a lot of you know that uh, this weekend. Uh, the Eastern Seaboard got hit with a uh, hurricane, uh, Hurricane Irene, and uh, I know for a lot of people it didn't, it might not seem like a big deal, but where I live in New York, we don't really get hurricanes, um, so it was kind of a big deal, um, so I'm going to let you know what my day was like yesterday. So it goes like this, I get woken up at 8.30 in the morning uh, to screaming and yelling, uh, and I get up, get dressed and all that good stuff, and I walk I walk downstairs and I look and I see that my front, well actually I looked out my window first and I saw that the side of my uh, my house was flooded. Um, now for, you know, waking up to something like that, you don't really know how to, exp how to take that. Um, and what I'm going to be showing you are going to be some pictures of the first three pictures I'm going to be showing you are of my house, uh, around my house, and the rest are pictures from my uh, from around town that my friends on Facebook have taken. So the side of my house was completely flooded, and you'll see it right here. And that car right there is my landlord's car, and you see this is early too. And um, and then I went from there to the front of my house, which was also flooded. And uh, if you follow, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you would have seen both of these pictures. Uh, it's just crazy. Uh, and the second picture is my backyard. That is my backyard. Um, and it was completely flooded. So the rest of these pictures are going to be from pictures around my town uh, and all the damage that this thing has done. Um, now, so after I see the damage and everything like that, and trying to figure out what to do the fire truck comes along and they tell us that we have to evacuate we have to evacuate um, because it's just not safe because bridges are being washed out roads are getting flooded so we had to go and uh, so we packed our stuff up and we left uh, we got driven to um, my diner now for people that don't know my family owns a restaurant and um, so it was closed, obviously, because the, with weather like this, you know, no one's going to come out. Obviously, no one's going to come out. No one's going to try and eat or anything like that. People are going to stay home. Um, so we get to the diner, and the diner still has power. The diner still has internet and TV and all that. So it was, it was pretty good. Um, so we got to the diner at like 9.30 in the morning, and... Not to mention, let me let me say before that, I had to move our car. Our car was covered halfway in water, um, almost almost halfway, and um, so we had to move it. And I had to wade the water in about two feet high water. I had to get in the car and I had to I had to move it down the street to a school, which wasn't flooded at the time, thankfully. And the car had water in it, like the, uh, the up to the you know, up to the 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 side panel, uh, not side panel, the rocker panel, I'm sorry, um, and we had to move our car, because if we didn't, unfortunately, we would have lost our car, thankfully, we didn't, thankfully, there was no real major damage that was caused to our car, uh, because luckily, one of our neighbors, um, woke my dad up and told him, and of course, my phone's going off, like always, guys, what, like, it's expected, my phone always goes off during the commentary. Um, so, oh, it's my girlfriend, anyways, um, so I had to move the car, and I had to walk in about two feet high water, which was not pleasant at all, because it was cold, but whatever, and, uh, and then we, we got our stuff, and we got evacuated, we, we got to ride in a fire truck, that was exciting, um, never rode in a fire truck before, uh, the people, the, the people that lived downstairs from us, um, their apartment was destroyed, basically, uh, well, yeah, it was basically destroyed. The water got up past our steps. It got inside the door, and it went inside her apartment. Um, 
what what's going to be coming up on the screen in a little bit is a video that I found uh, a friend of mine did uh, about a town around where I live and the damage that it caused. So that'll be coming up right now. So um, you know, it's just it's just crazy to believe that something like this can happen. Um, you know, you really wouldn't think of it. I I wouldn't think of it, especially where I live. I mean, we've gotten downpours, we've gotten really bad weather, but we haven't really gotten anything. No scope. We haven't really gotten anything um, that bad uh, to where the whole area would be flooded. Um, you know, so it it, it was bad, and uh, uh, we spent 12 hours at the diner. We were there from uh, about 10, 9 30, 10 o'clock to around. Uh, 10 30 at night um, and people were trying people were trying to come in you know see they can get food and stuff like that you know just we, we, we couldn't because obviously the diner was closed but um, you know it just it just shows you how you know how fragile you your uh, situation is you know it can be changed like an instant like that you know um, anything can change you know at the drop of a hat if mother nature decides to so, you know, uh, let me know. If you guys were affected by the hurricane, let me know how you handled it and how everything went. Luckily, everything's fine now, so um, thank God for that. So anyways, guys, if you liked the video, let me know. Uh, drop me a like, and if you want to, drop me a comment. Feel free. And I uh, hope you enjoyed, guys. All right, take care.